Just a poor, a wayfaring stranger Traveling through this world of war There is no sickness, no toil, no danger In that bright land to which I go I'm going there to see my mother She said she'd meet me when I come I'm just a going over Jordan I'm just a I know dark clouds will gather around me I know my way is rough and steep But beauteous fields lie just before me Where God's redeemed their vigils keep Just going over Jordan I'm just going over home I'll soon be free From earth trials This body rests in the old churchyard I'll draw this cross Of self-denial And go singing Home to God I'm going there To see my Savior I'm going there, no more to roam. I'm just a going over Jordan. I'm just a going over home. I'm just a going home. Jordan, I'm just a going over home. I'm just a going.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Hannah Hart. So that's, that's enough, that's enough of that. We are here to get questions answered, to get things known out there into the universe. Uh, first and foremost, who am I? Uh, who, this person right here. My name is Hannah Hart. Uh, some of you may be familiar with some of my work on the internet, on YouTube. Yes, I am that drunk girl from 2011. A, a brighter time for YouTube, I think, personally. Uh, but what some of you may not know is that I am actually a huge, phenomenally huge fan of this game, The Last of Us. And soon to be in sequel, The Last of Us 2. Um, so part two. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm just really excited, but I know you guys are too and you've already had a long day of listening, so I'm going to keep this as interesting and entertaining as possible, beginning by bringing out some of our fantastic guests here today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, we have Neil Druckmann, Hallie Gross, Ashley Johnson, and Troy Baker! <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Oh my God. Ooh. Ooh, what a time. Did everybody get those lyrics down? Did somebody already write them down, posting them? Are the theories starting already? I hope so. <laughs> when I get home, I want something interesting to read. Uh, <laughs> So um, I'm actually going to open it up by talking with you, Neil. You're the writer and director of The Last of Us. Co-writer with Hallie. Co-writer, co-writer. Yeah, i got to give Hallie her credit, too. Um, so I have just some casual, light questions right off the bat. Um, one, will Ellie meet her mother? <laughs> uh, that would be tricky. Oh. Um, yeah, the thing with songs is you could take them literally or they are a metaphor for something else. <laughs> and just like everything else we're putting out there, we're not going to say a whole lot about that song. Okay, but is it literal or a metaphor? <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Just two real quick questions. Uh, is Joel dead? And when, <laughs> is, um, when is the game coming out? Uh, so. What was the first question? Uh, Joel, alive or dead? It depends on which point. Everybody dies at some point. Wow. Hey, guys. <laughs> Quick reminder of mortality, just well, in case the, you I'll, I'll say about a little bit void. about the, the thing with, like, uh, it's so interesting. Like, we, we always want to go into our games, and people know that there's stakes. There's real stakes. And uh, with The Last of Us, no one is safe. Uh, and we wanted people to go into The Last of Us Part Two, um, especially with this theme and what we're trying to say with this game is knowing that no one is safe, not even these two. And it's, it's funny, like, like working on, on Uncharted 4, we really wanted to raise the stakes as well, but that game is much more lighthearted. So Wait, we had what? To, we, had, <laughs> <laughs> we had to call it a thief's end and do all these crazy trails to get people to think, like, is it possible for Nathan Drake to die in this game? And with this, we released one trailer, Joel walks through a door and is like, oh my God, is Joel a ghost? Is he dead? Uh, well, that's enough out of Neil. Let's turn to you two. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. That was great. Uh, Ashley and Troy, first of all, I am a huge fan, and I know I kept it really cool in the green room. You but did. Yeah, I know, right? Haha, <laughs> it's all a lie. <laughs> um, yeah, wow, you guys, welcome back. That was awesome. I didn't know that. Did, did, have you both, do you sing? He, he's put out albums. He's incredible. If you guys haven't heard his stuff, you need to d get mm. it immediately. Thank you. That's cool. I was going to say download it, but you should go buy it. I'm looking for the Joel character album. I'm looking for like a lot of like. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are too. I think they prefer that album. No, this was, again, we, you're going to get this a lot through this panel. She and I are just going to constantly throw this back to, to Neil. Um, this was an idea that he <laughs> Neil, had. Neil, can you sing? <laughs> what, was, what was the question? As far as like where did this idea come from to be able to sing? I mean, yeah, she is an incredible voice. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, she just doesn't let anybody hear it because she just keeps it secret. I'm out there just constantly trying to make sure people do. Um, so that's the dichotomy between us. Um, but no, this was Neil's idea to do this, and we've been anxiously awaiting 
this day, both of us were talking about it, just like there's this moment that we didn't know was going to happen. We walked out there, and it just, man, it hit me. <laughs> yeah, that's real. Well, I have a, my, you know, going back to the game, I just want to know, I know you guys can't tell us much, but in terms of emotional spectrum, like what was your reaction to walking through the story of the second game with Neil and everybody? How long did it take to do it? Like a month? <laughs> <laughs> it's a two and a half hour presentation. Yeah, so we were here last year, we were talking about how they both heard kind of a short pitch and since then our, our legion of concept artists back in Naughty Dog, we, we had a presentation that was like over 200 images and we walk the team, including uh, uh, Troy and Ashley, through the entire story beginning to end. Mm. Um, I was pretty nervous pitching it to them. How'd you feel returning to your characters? So excited. I, I mean, I, uh, for anybody who, who knows me, this is uh, this game. Oh, I love you. He doesn't just know <laughs> you. He loves um, you. This game means so much to me and just the experience that I've had on it and the friends and family that I've made through this game, even outside of the game, this, it, it's changed my life. So um, <laughs> returning to this is just the best thing ever. Like I just, you know, when we finished the first game, I was bugging Neil all the time, like, oh, is there gonna be a second one? When are we gonna do it? What's it gonna be about? So finally when he, you know, sort of gave me the pitch for it the first time, and then again, Hallie and Neil gave me the pitch, and I was just uh, sobbing, and you know, not just, I, just because tears I, of I'm joy. just, tears of joy, <laughs> and just so <laughs> excited to be back in it, and um, it's, I'm so excited about this one. Do you feel like playing Ellie has helped? Do you feel like it's had a, an effect on, on your personality, your perception of self? Like, are there aspects of her character that you wish you emulated or aspects of her that emulate you? Hmm, that's a good question. Well, I, I actually feel like Ellie is the closest character to me as a person than anything I've played. I don't know if maybe that's why I feel such an attachment to it. Um, I mean, but also because you, I mean, when you work on a video game, you're working on it for years, and it's the first time that I've had that experience before. But um, I don't know. I feel like through that time, it's impossible to not sort of weave into each other and become become one. Wow. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a special and cool thing to yeah. do something for that long. So can you, like, shoot a bow and arrow super good? <laughs> well, <laughs> I can, but I actually learned after the game because um, some good friends of ours, uh, Patrick and Jenny, maybe they're watching somewhere, maybe not. Maybe they'll say it later. Maybe they won't. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But they're awesome. Um, they, <laughs> hey, thanks. Um, they're actually amazing. So we've been, you know, they've completely shot, taught me how to shoot. And um, turns out it's actually pretty fun. Yeah. And I love it. So I have my own bow now. And it's, I, I, I love it. But that's just been, I, I think maybe I'm slowly melding, melding into Ellie, which is mm. a little scary. Probably not going to kill anybody, but who knows? <laughs> yeah, There's let's just time. try and get through the rest of this panel, yeah. keeping that <laughs> true. Uh, so then Neil's God, <laughs> if uh, you're slowly becoming Ellie. Oh, my oh, goodness. No. But I know we've been talking here, and poor little Hallie's been in the corner. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, Hallie Gross is now a co-writer, uh, part Woo! of The Last of Us 2. Yay! Yeah. Um, but she comes from a background uh, doing television. Some of the programs you may have heard of. Anybody here heard of like Westworld? Yeah. 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 So yeah, how's that been transitioning from television, video games? It's awesome. It's really been exciting. Um, it's uh, a whirlwind change. Um, ultimately, narrative is narrative, and that's really exciting. And dynamic characters are dynamic characters. But it's been really wonderful to get to work in an environment where you're not just building a story with other writers, but with designers and artists and editors and working collaboratively to try and make the best game ever. Mm, Pretty yes. exciting. And, and it is, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, had you played the game before? I had, I had, yeah. I mean, that's one of the reasons I, I took the job. I got this email from my agents being like, yo, yo, Neil Druckmann wants to talk to you about a super top secret job how do you feel about writing for games? And I was like, in all caps, just absolutely curious. 
and now, now I'm sitting here. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Do you, I guess, what is, um, what's that experience like, though? Because to be simultaneously a fan of something and then a part of engineering it, like, into reality, do you feel like, is it just as exciting as an experience still? It's a daunting experience, you know? Um, you have this like very like this amazing thing, and you're like, I really hope I'm not the you know I don't mess it up. Well, you will it's be the scapegoat. Me. I promise yes. you. If the game sucks, everyone will blame only you. I mean, but that's <laughs> gonna happen on Reddit. Yeah. Potentially fair. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Neil, do you think that she's ruined the game? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't write anything because I'm just the token yeah, woman, to yeah, so yeah. it's fine. I don't, it's fine. You don't let her near a computer, dude. Well, what was awesome with, with Hallie is like, I remember the first day we're going over the story and like, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty confident about the opening, pretty confident about the ending, this big giant middle part, not so sure. And already the first day we started wrestling with these ideas and she already had like awesome ideas. I want to say one of them, but I'm not I know you can't, I know exactly, <laughs> yeah, you can't. Uh, get <laughs> used to it. We got, we got 38 minutes to try and hope somebody slips up, uh, guys. Whatever. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing no. it. I'm doing it. No. You're going to slip doing up? It. No. What are you doing? What's he going to so, do? Uh, after the first day, Helly goes home and talks to her husband, and she's like, I think I got someone pregnant. <laughs> and you'll see what That's that it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so cool. I specifically recall asking about that. <laughs> um, wow, yeah, that's great. So, other questions. Token woman. Oh, TV versus game. <laughs> We've uh, covered that, yeah. We covered that, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Um, it's really exciting. Like, I love TV and I love the collaborative process of a writer's room, and I never knew you could have that like tenfold with people who think not just narratively, but they also think, you know, the, everybody at Naughty Dog is just the best at what they do, and so they'll come to you with like, you know, Neil and I will say, okay, here's what the emotional beat is, um, and then the art department will have its ideas, and the design department will have its ideas, and what we started with becomes this like much, much better, fuller thing, and that's really exciting. Tell them about fail states. I learned about fail states! Guys, that's... <laughs> What's a fail state? <laughs> okay, so... So I came into games, I play games, but I didn't really know much about games, and so I've had to learn this whole, like, I know what IGCs are now, fail states, I'm really proud of myself. So fail states yeah. are when you're in gameplay, uh, and like, I remember I was pitching, I have to be so careful right now. Uh, pitching something I that was, was gonna I was pitching just like a character having to go from one location to another, in a space that the player will never have experienced before. And I'm like, okay, so this character goes there. And Neil goes, well, how do they know where they're going? It's like, well, what's the fail state? And I was like, in TV, we don't have to deal with these things. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I still barely know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, <laughs> you, you have to, you have to uh, anticipate what happens if... They, they if, don't the player, if the, the player goal. doesn't do what you want, yeah. then that's usually a problem with like when we have a bunch of like great story ideas and you're like, yeah, but what if the player doesn't do that? Mm. Then you have to always have ways to deal with that. To, to oh, oh, oh wait, so that way they die. Oh, good, good to know. It doesn't mess with how you interact with people, you know, making video games and predicting actions. Oh, mm. long mm. silence there, everybody. <laughs> Tell them how PUBG has affected your life. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I have a boyfriend. His name is PUBG. <laughs> His name is PUBG. I don't yeah, know what PUBG. PUBG is either. I just like this game. <laughs> PUBG, you don't wait. I'll learn, I'll learn. Okay. I'll, I'll okay. hear we'll all We'll get into it another time. You, yes. just, you murder a lot of people and it's awesome. It's fine. It's so, great. comparing from the first game, we're gonna talk about the second game. Uh, comparing from the first game to this one, what are the facts that we all know? We know it's been confirmed that Ellie is now 19 in the second game, correct? Correct. Correct. And then you also said that, I just feel like I'm personally interviewing this guy. Uh, <laughs> you also said that the first game is about love and this one is about hate. Correct. Cool. You want to <laughs> like elaborate on that at all? <laughs> you want to throw out some more spoilers? Well, we put out a, a, a trailer in, in Paris Games Week recently. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I assume, has everyone in this room seen that trailer? 
It is a visceral, violent, continual scene that I actually think we should watch right now. One more time. Let's do it. Yeah. That's my cue. nested with sin. Free them that they may know my... the other apostate. Clip her wings. are coming. Cut her down. She's one of them. Lev. your backs.
Well, it's time for us all to come down a little bit. I'm speaking specifically to myself. Uh, and also, will you all join me in welcoming the new, some of the new cast members here today. Please welcome to the stage. We have Ian Alexander as Lev, Victoria Grace as Yara, and Laura Bailey as... You're standing up. You guys. Yay! Welcome. I'm gonna slide down, slide down. Hi, please sit wherever you feel most comfortable. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining us um, this week on Vague Discussions. Uh, I'm very glad to have you all here. Hi. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Hello. Good, good, good. Hi. Hi. Hello. Um, so uh, let's uh, hear a little bit about you guys. So uh, is this your first time working in video games? Uh, it is my first experience. Yeah, I've never done anything like this before. I've only been on uh, one other show. Wow. But you have experience? Um, I did one other <laughs> video game prior in 2011, and I haven't done motion capture before in a video game. So oh, cool. Yeah. yeah, dude. So first of all, this is a pretty high bar to set to be thrust into this position. Uh, <laughs> Last of Us Part Two. So great first gig. <laughs> uh, but then, OK, let's talk a little bit about that. We saw that your characters are, are super, super physical. Um, were you heavily involved in the motion capture experience? Um, so I'm actually not a fit person, like I don't work out <laughs> at all. So uh, that scene where Lev vaults over the wall, they had me like running down and jumping over a wall and I remember Neil was like, can you, can you do like a five foot or how was it, like three foot vault? And I was like, um, <laughs> I guess. You know, those are questions so. Neil asks everyone. When we met, he was like, five foot vault? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so by, by the end of the shoot, um, my legs were like trembling and I was totally sore the next day, so. Yeah. So you I enjoyed the experience. <laughs> oh, oh, totally. 100%. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about I, you, I uh, love running around and, uh, <laughs> you know, all that stuff. Uh, for me, it was also my first time doing stunts and anything of the like, and so like being thrown down onto a mat um, and getting my arm hit with a, a foam hammer. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that uh, was brutal. Oh, I know. The first time I saw that, no, the first they, time I saw the trailer, the foam it was one with you? like, I thought, <laughs> oh. no. no, it was awesome. Um, yeah. The whole experience was so cool. Yeah, absolutely. And so uh, were you two previous fans of the games at all? What was the audition experience like? Did you know, you know, going into it, who you were playing exactly? Um, actually, Neil reached out to the uh, director of the show that I was on, The OA, and that's how I got the role. Um, I did a couple of it's a great show. like self-tapes and auditions and stuff, but I pretty much went into it knowing who I was going to play. So Very cool. Yeah. I wish I knew who you were going to play. <laughs> <laughs> and then how about for you, Victoria? Um, actually, my mom was the one who actually found out about this game, and it was a code name at the time, so it wasn't even... The Last of Us, um, and we together we went in and told my agent about it because we knew that this character was like something um, that I, I I I felt connected to. Like I really felt attached to her. Mm. Uh, right as I read her character description, I know that's insane, but um, yeah, we went in and I did a couple. I did a self tape, and then maybe two weeks later a callback. And that's when I found out that <laughs> it was Last of Us. So. Yeah, that's awesome. And then I know you guys were also in uh, involved in the design of the characters. Um, I actually think we have an image of the two characters side by side. Is there one that we can? Yes, the power. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, you guys Sweet. look related, maybe? Yes. Siblings. Siblings, in fact. Yes. Is that true, Neil? That is true, yeah. yeah. The, the cool thing is like, um, like Ashley and Troy and, and even and Laura play characters that don't look like themselves. This is one of the few times we've done digital doubles, but because we knew these characters are siblings, we actually kind of blended their features together to like really make them feel like they come from the same lineage. Yeah, I'm checking it out, and I think you guys did a pretty good job. Speaking of Laura, I'm sorry that oh, I haven't. Hi. Hi. How's it going over there? Okay, <laughs> so you, um, I'm going to refer to your character. I know we really don't know much about you, yeah, uh, secret, but I do secrets. know. Yeah, we, a lot of people call her Mystery Woman. Um, I have a couple more names, too. I like it. Uh, um, if we can get a picture of her, uh, Lady Hammer. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, the Gun Show. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> call her that. Yeah. And yeah. Casual Butch. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you do you feel charming? Like, charming, right? Yeah. Casual. But. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, do you feel like since playing Lady Hammer, uh, <laughs> you have decided to work out more or less? Oh, I fully started working out. <laughs> like the minute I w so. Actually, funny story, last year, I was doing the Lost Legacy panel, and I was asked, are you excited? Did you see anything about The Last of Us? You're excited about The Last of Us Part Two? And I knew at that time that I was cast, and I couldn't say anything, it was <gasps> awful. So I'm on the stage like, yeah, yeah, Ashley and Troy are just great. I'm sure it's gonna be fabulous. <laughs> um, so yeah, I started working out like crazy because of it, and um, wow, I'm not anywhere close to the gun show, but uh, <laughs> see, guys, all of these work is. But I am, you know, trying to yeah. get there. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. She's a beast, by the way. Oh, she totally you. has gun shows or <laughs> gun show. It's all covered by this <laughs> by this there's laser. So many gun shows. It's she cut totally all underneath gun here. Shows. It's, it's pure muscle. Yeah. But you have been involved again, like with uh, Ian and Victoria in the motion capture experience. Yeah. How much of this did you have to perform? All of, uh, all of it. Most all of it? Yeah. yeah. So uh, we have, an, I have the most amazing stunt double, Jesse Graff, who is phenomenal. Um, and the day that we were shooting, they had like blocked out the entire scene with her. And then Neil came up to me and he was like, how comfortable do you feel with uh, all that? I'm like, let me do it. Please let me do it. So they put me in the harness and, you know, they had the noose around my neck. So that whole scene of getting thrown down and then yanked up and everything, we did all of that. Wow. And um, we kept the, you know, the noose isn't actually choking me, but they kept a good amount of tension so that, you know, while she's being <laughs> choked, that you would get the neck tension right. and there would actually be that <coughs> guttural sort of sound. So. Oh, my God. Do we have any images from any of the motion capture experiences? <gasps> we oh. do. Hey, Macarena, look at that. Wow. Look at us. Look at you guys. You guys are... A, so do you guys become a trio? Can I ask that? I don't know. Can you? I can look, ask. I, got, I have special boots. I have special mocap boots, which makes my walk cool. Oh, wow. That looks so yeah. intense. I mean, you know, so clearly your character is 100% a badass, right? Yeah. You can you confirm or deny? I can say that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can see that. That's incredible. Sorry, this is where myself as a fan, I get so caught up in trying to analyze the details. <laughs> look at that. So you've never done any physical physical work like this before? No, I have not. It was <laughs> it was definitely uh, like a dream come true for me. Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to do something like this. And Neil, with these characters, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what I guess your your hope for them, if there is such a word in your world, uh, okay, would be <laughs> as characters in this game? There is hope. There are lighthearted moments in The Last of Us, uh, but it's all surrounded with, with, with this other thing that we're trying to say. Yeah, even with this trailer, like we've been talking about this, this theme of hate, and you're seeing these two groups and how they're reacting to one another. Uh, and a lot of the story is this kind of um, about this sense of pursuing justice and the positive and negative and kind of like the really messy gray area that, that can occupy that. So we're seeing... Yara and Lev be belonging to this religious group, and they've left for some reason. Uh, and this circumstance of the scene has caused them to align themselves with someone that they would normally hate and um, see as less than human, which right. is uh, mystery woman, Guncho, whatever. We're yeah. uh, Guncho seems to be sticking. Yeah. Yeah. I really thought Lady Hammer would be the winner. <laughs> uh, well, it's interesting because you know here you have the infected, obviously, and you 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 would assume that presented with a common crisis, presented with a common threat, there are kind of two ways that humanity can go. We can either be divided into multiple factions or be united as one, and then hopefully get to like the Star Trek universe, which is all I'm waiting for, really. Uh, but it's clear, after watching this, one of the things I was most excited about personally as a fan is that it seems like there's a cult aspect now. There's like a religious following. Um, I don't know where the military's at. Where are they, what are they infected up to? Still infecting the fireflies? What's going on with them? Can any of those things be told to me? <laughs> <laughs> those are all things that in some way or another are in the story. Uh, <laughs> Son of yeah. a bitch. <laughs> yeah, they're all there. Well, I, I, I personally am excited because I really do love a cult storyline um, and just kind of like, you know, the writing that goes into deciding that these people are good, these people are bad, because no one believes that they are the enemy. They think that they are fighting for what's right. And it seems to me that, you know, maybe it's a story of hate, but maybe it's also a story of 
perceived righteousness. Well, so much of The Last of Us is the perspective of the group. Like, no one, no one group is bad or one person is bad or, uh, or good for that matter. Like, the ending of The Last of Us, spoiler alert, but there's a lot of people that see Joel as the villain or the hero, depending which, which side of it you're looking at. And that's kind of what we're trying to hit um, with this game. Yeah. I'm going to stop there. <laughs> Needs of the many, needs of the few. Are there ever any recap panels where people get to talk about the decisions that were made? That's what it should be, a recap panel, or just an entirely spoiler-ridden panel. Okay, let's talk about atmosphere. Uh, we have seen inside this trailer that it, it's, very, it's very dark, it's very gritty. It felt, I don't know, I mean, you say there are moments of lightheartedness in the, in the sequel, um, but here it seems like we're in a very wet, rainy area. Some might say Seattle. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> they let me ask just whatever confirmed I want. It. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we could say that. Uh, a large part of the game takes place in Seattle, which Reddit detectives have already figured out. Man, Reddit is so good. Look at this. We made it all the way to the West Coast. Do you guys come down to Cali? <laughs> Little San Francisco, Los Angeles action? Is that where Joel's album dropped? <laughs> I was pretty bummed to find that, you know, like the whiskey was closed. <laughs> what? The really? I thought that was joke was going to do better. Mm. Not. <laughs> we're, we're in Anaheim. You guys are still just like, last of us. <laughs> These are the moments of levity he was talking about. Continue. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> really good. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting because I feel that I very much want the game to come out now because I have uh, been a fan of it for all of, I don't know, two years. So I guess I've waited. I've, I'm not, I haven't waited as long as everybody else has. But are you guys nervous at all? And maybe I just kind of want to ask each of you individually. Um, when you go into creating the second half of such a large enterprise, are you nervous about the reactions that you're going to receive? Are, are you excited for that? Troy? Troy? <laughs> yes, sir. Um, there's something that The Last of Us taught me is um, this, a story like this requires a, a higher level of trust and faith more than any other, any other project I've been a part of and really I think any other game that's come out for sure. And that's all the place that everybody who touched this thing um, operated in, is we, it, when we, when I found out what the ending was going to be, I knew that people were going to be on one side or the other, and Neil knew that, and he and I discussed this, and it's like, people are either going to love it or they're ha going to hate it, but what we don't want is for people to just be like, eh, mm. and ambivalent. And it's the same thing here, if, if we go into this thing making this something that we hope that people will like, or that people will believe is as good as, or it's better than, or it still feels like, then we're not making the game that we're supposed to be making. And so all of us are just kind of keeping our heads down and trying to tell this story. We've told that story, um, and now this is where we are. And so it's, it's kind of the same moment of walking out there. It's like, look, we're just going to be out here to speak truth. Um, and it's, it worked out well the last time, and I think it's going to work out well for us this time. Yeah, I think that's great. I'm going to clap for you, Troy. That's beautiful. Good job. I can say I have never been more nervous about being cast in something um, than being cast in this. I, every, every day before I go in to start shooting, I, uh, I want to throw up. Just because, I mean, in a good way, just because, <laughs> like, there's so much to it live up to. Way. Like, you know, these two are my best friends and so you know when I even went into audition I was dying on the inside because I wanted it so bad and and then to get cast and to know that that then I have to live up to the performances that you gave and, and the writing that you guys are providing is just so phenomenal and I just do you feel do you feel that way also about Uncharted I mean are you just like well, yeah. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I, they're, they're probably here still. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, obviously, Uncharted, I, I love that too. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying this made me really nervous is what I'm saying about this. And these guys, I love them and stuff. Uh, you know, it's, <laughs> they say it's good to be nervous because it's a sign that you care. 
It's a sign cool. that you care a lot, and yeah. it's a sign that it's a quality product. And and in the future, when you go into making when you go into making a sequel for something that is beloved, you're always going to have the people that just want to repeat the first experience. But that's not growth, that's not change, that's not life. Yeah, there, there's, a, there's definitely a fear there of, because with the first game, it's like people liked it or, or didn't like it, and you're like, okay, well, we made a certain game to our taste, this is like the vision that we had for it, um, and you accepted it. With the second game, what's hard for me, and I know other people on the team have this issue, is like, we're, again, making something we really believe in, there's a fear, there's a challenge there, like we we're trying to do something that's really challenging as far from the, the kind of, I feel like we're doing something innovative in the way we're telling the story that we won't be able to talk about until the game is out. Um. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> but uh, you just have to lean into that fear and just say, you know, we're doing something we believe in. And, and the hard thing that I was getting to is there's gonna be fans of the first game that aren't gonna like the second game and that we have to be okay with that. And there's gonna be people that just never played the first game are gonna love the second game. And all we have to do is be, all we can do is be true to ourselves and keep making what we believe in. Right. Um, that's how, that's it. That's absolutely right. That that's has always worked for Naughty Dog and that will forever be how we make games and we will forever continue to make single player, linear, narrative based games. Ooh. Oh my God. What about and Somebody give that boy a mic to drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give that man a mic to drop. What about part three? <laughs> this is so much of this panel is literally just me asking. You are asking the hardest questions. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. Sorry, let me let me talk to you a bit more about your experience as an artist. Hallie, how's your experience as an artist been? No, well, um, I guess is there any messaging that you wanted to come in and convey through this form of storytelling? Again, this is the first video game you've worked on, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm messaging. Messaging uh, is really going to come down to the theme that Neil had when I came onto the project. But what I think, and to sort of uh, what he was saying before, like I think the reason that the first game succeeded in large part was because he was drawing incredibly authentic characters, and they weren't tropes or archetypes. They were these very complex people who had done both good and bad things, negotiating a difficult world and negotiating a complicated relationship. And I think uh, while, of course, we want to make people happy, the priority has to be on doing right by Joel and Ellie and all of the characters in the story and giving them uh, an authentic arc and difficult uh, conflicts to to engage with yeah and see how they grow and change and see how the world has grown and changed because if, from the first game to now the entire you know the entire planet has continued to be infected and these factions have developed and there's really not much more they gave me to work with here in terms <laughs> of what we can talk about um, which is fine what do you guys think about your characters love them <laughs> hate them <laughs> That, no, I but truly. Uh, so you guys are siblings. You've grown up in this world, I assume. I mean, th I think their age is undetermined. Can you tell us how old they're? Uh, Yara is 16 and Lev is 13. Oh, that's yep. so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys love being in that cult or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk um, about your work as an artist. Do you love cults? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Uh, depends which cult. Uh, <laughs> uh, right? Um, but truly, though, uh, what do you feel like is something that you have taken away from working with this character? Is there a, a sense, uh, kind of like we were talking about with Ashley about Ellie, is there a sense of attachment development there? Do you feel close? Akin like I said, I felt attached to her from like the very first time I read her character description, and I had no clue what the project was. Mm. Um, I, there are aspects of her personality that I find similar to mine and aspects that I really admire. And, um, yeah. An extremely I, high yeah. pain tolerance. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, um, and I also, I was very excited to, to hear her story, which is absolutely um, very complex and very... Uh, careful, careful. Very <laughs> it's awesome. So mean. Um, but no, I was very excited to also have a little brother uh, in the game because in real life I have five older brothers, so this is a nice change. Oh, that's great. 
Did you guys record your scenes to get, the, I mean, aside from the motion capture, but when you were doing all the, I mean, in motion capture, do you record the audio simultaneously? Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, I don't make video games. <laughs> <laughs> in motion capture, usually it's just like motion, but in performance capture, it's full capture. So you do the face and the voice and the body all at the same time. It's so like the, the, the scene that you see her with when she's got the helmet on and a little, there, there's a camera that's like six inches away from our face. It's capturing yeah. all of the face. And then that weird suit that we wear is capturing <laughs> all of the, the, the body data. And then they have typically two mics, which I think Naughty Dog was one of the first people that I know to do that because you'll have a lot of dynamic scenes and people start screaming. So they wanted to make sure that we don't have to redo the, the scene because the audio got blown out. And so it really became a way of let's get everything together at the same time. Yeah. And that's how you can get a scene like a one continuous shot of someone being hung, yeah. hanged, whatever. Hanged. Hanged. <laughs> hanged. Yeah. Hanging, Hanging up. Hanged. Hmm? Hanging out. Hanging out. Yeah. Hanging. It, it's, it can be challenging with the, uh, the face cam for any time you're like doing something more intimate or like getting close to somebody. Like you're Do you get close to somebody? <laughs> like, well, come just on, like, let's go. Clean. You know. <laughs> oh. Is there closeness in this game? <laughs> Nobody is ever close in this game. We're very <laughs> 10 no. feet away from each other at all times. I'm hoping for like some closeness, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's really what I've got my fingers crossed for. <laughs> Looking at you, Ashley. I mean, Ellie. I know the difference between you and your character. <laughs> Sometimes I don't. <laughs> let's go. Let's explore that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess that, like, y with you guys, your ability to convey the story, because, to be honest, The Last of Us was the first video game I ever played. And I just didn't have a console my whole life. And then I got one, and then I played The Last of Us. So I've set my own personal bar for playing games incredibly high. I got to tell you, it's a tough game to start with, because now when I play other games, I'm like, well, the complex character development. I don't <laughs> care about these people. Where's the story? Where's the, qu the qualms of morality? You know? And if you guys have a, like a list or something you can give me, that would be great. I can't find my complex character development. <laughs> That's me, yes! That's literally me. Th those are in loot boxes. It's MTXs. You got it. <gasps> oh! The burns! No? Oh, no. oh the burns! <laughs> And there goes yeah. Troy's career. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> he went there. Well, Troy, since you haven't gotten a chance uh, to talk much on this panel, I just, I guess I'm, I'm curious to hear about how your experience playing Joel has evolved. Can you tell me? Man, I don't think, uh, I look back at the person that walked in, and actually we were, as a goof, we were looking at pictures. If you like, don't do this. But <laughs> I Googled myself last night. <laughs> Is this, wait, is this as, as I was sitting next to you? Yeah. And, and I feel like a little image search. And there's the guy that walked in circa, you know, 2011, I think is when we started this, and, uh, or 2010. And wow. And Neil just took, took my phone and showed Hallie, and he goes, Joel. And it's a picture of me at the Final Fantasy pr premiere. <laughs> Don't laugh, dude. That's not cool, man. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Hold yes. that up right now. Hold it up. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Just pass that around and everybody will There's get a There's so get a much good hair. hair. It's, so it's, it's Troy Baker 2011 it's and Troy Baker Final Fantasy. And hair. Just all the hair. Hallie was the one that said that. No, you said No, yeah, said, yeah. It was, I you said, said MySpace hair. You're like, man, you got some MySpace hair. <laughs> and I would. Sick Bernie. The greatest joke that anyone's ever told. <laughs> so uh, the, the guy that walked into that thing, I, I look back and I go, that, that was someone who was naive and full of fear and um, lacked a lot of identity. <laughs> Can we pull it up? Are they showing yeah. it? Oh, wow. Are they showing Can we it? Do that? Oh, no. Is it pulled hey, up? Hey, thanks, camera B. <laughs> <laughs> about to have a poignant moment. A guy goes, I got it. <laughs> um, but all of us, I mean, when Ashley, the first thing that she said, she was like, this game fundamentally changed our lives. I mean, our... Our dynamic inside, uh, both on and off the stage, has changed. And I, I'll never forget um, when she and I first walked into the stage on Culver just to do, just to hear the pitch from, from Neil and Bruce um, about what this game was going to be about. We had both gotten the gig, and so we felt a little more comfortable. And he walked us through, and I think it was about 45 minutes to an hour to just walk us through, this is going to be The Last of Us. And they said, do you want to take a break? And we're like, sure. And she and I walked outside and just, I think, breathed for the first time in an hour. And I looked at her and I said, do you realize that 
if this thing sucks, it's because of us. <laughs> <laughs> because it's so good. And man, I think about all the days between that and this. And more than anything, it's, it's for me, it's been, uh, we all want to make a game that we want to play. But there is nothing like going literally the world over and being at a convention or something and having someone stand in front of me or in front of Ashley uh, or in front of Neil and just can't, they can't find the words uh, to be able to express what this game has meant to them and for them and, and the times that it's carried uh, them through. And for me, it's the reason why I play is because if Joel and Ellie can get through that, I can get through Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Give it up for Tuesday. That's beautiful. And yeah, I think that you guys should give yourself some credit. Clearly, here we are at the PlayStation Experience 2017 uh, <laughs> at The Last of Us Part 2 panel. So clearly, I think their performances did carry the weight of the story through. So congratulations to you guys. So, and just, just to piggyback off that real quick, um, Joel, alive or dead? <laughs> Right. Right, 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 right. <laughs> God, you'd think, you know, I thought I really thought I gave them like a false sense of security. You know, We're actors. It. That's what we live in is a false sense of security. <laughs> yeah, constant sense of insecurity. No, insecurity. Sorry, no, that's, that's the other that's one. Got it. That's okay. It happened. I meant that right? That look okay? Yeah, you look, right? you look great. <laughs> You know what's so funny is that I'd never seen you in interviews before, so I really thought you were going to be like, Joel, like, be like, hey, I'm Joel. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And then when I first saw him and he's like, stop, I was like, oh, you're, you're fun. <laughs> Actually, I think, I think the first time you saw me was when I was standing like this so that the hair chick could spray my hair. <laughs> Which, that'll just shatter a bunch of images for people. Yeah. No, they just have to look you up on Google, Troy. There it yeah, is. Yeah, there it is. Even more shattered. Are you looking forward to this future for yourselves as characters <laughs> and as character actors? <laughs> totally. Okay, yeah. great. You're doing great. Yeah, this is a good, like, learning curve experience right here. Uh, Neil, how do you feel about these guys and the way they've carried the second part? I mean, what you guys have, have gotten done so far, which is how much exactly? Just one question. Uh, yeah, so we finished a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we've handed off a bunch of levels. There's a bunch of stuff being worked on. Uh, yeah, we're like 50 to 60 percent. I don't know. I don't know how far. Hey, we can clap for that. You know, you can't say don't. It's not written in stone. Percentages are vague, made up on the spot. But also, we, we will remind you of that statement forever on Twitter. <laughs> but do you feel like, um, I guess, for your vision of how the characters would develop, um, these guys doing a okay job, or? Yeah, it's always, it's, the thing that's cool with, like, everybody that works at Naughty Dog and, and all, the, all the people here on, on this panel is, like, they're bringing something new to the table. So, yeah, we have a script and we have ideas for the story, but they're all making it their own, and, right, if it's, if it's the, the background environment artist, it's the editor, it's the acting, it's the Gustavo doing the music. It, it all comes together to tell this. Can we clap for the music? I love that music. Yeah. Gustavo! Gustavo! And, and this, is, this is actually one of the hardest stages of production because like, we have like, this piece over here and then this piece over here. And like, okay, now we have an adjacent piece. So you're starting to see like, a flow like, come together. But, um, you're still kind of going blind and just like hoping it's all going to coalesce into this ama amazing experience. And the game is big. Yeah, it's yeah, very. It's you wrote it's, a big game. It's big. You wrote a big. Don't. You wrote a big. I'm not we the wrote a big here. game <laughs> together. Both are scapegoats. I will say, and I, I will tell you guys this. Uh, I have had the incredible privilege of seeing some of the game. Yeah, guys. <laughs> These eyes, them peepers. <laughs> uh, and it has, I mean, I wish I, I wish I hadn't signed an NDA. It has blown my mind. It has somehow simultaneously exceeded expectations and then set new ones. And I believe that we know a time and day you guys will be able to see that. Will we? You always... 
the silence. They're always trying to, like, it's, it's important to, like, we keep people in suspense about when we're going to show stuff or not show stuff. Uh, what you saw, I'm glad that you liked it, but it's still very rough on, on around the corners. We're, we're, we're working hard. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> rough schmuff, guys. It was awesome. Sorry, go on. But when will my friends here be able to do that, too? E3 2018. E3 2018! Yay! Oh, you guys, that's it for us. Please, please give an uproarious applause to everyone that's been here. Everybody, thank you so much. Hallie, Neil, Ian, Victoria, <laughs> Ashley, Troy, and Laura. We will see you all on the internet. <laughs>